Hey guys, uh, thanks for clicking on this video. It's August 2011, and this is another top 15 tweaks. Um, I didn't make J July. Yeah, July because I was too lazy. So, let's get started. Shit, I think it broke. Oh, whatever. Again, to add these, uh, tweaks, you gotta add the source in the description below. Or sources, maybe two, I don't know. Yeah, so let's get started. This one is called Gravity Lock Screen. This one allows you to... Uh, I'll just show you. Here, you just set the gravity and bounce in the lock screen. And then it just bounces up and turns on. Unlocks. See? And you just have to touch it a little. If you don't want the slide to unlock, you just hit that uh, hide button bar. Then let the respring go. Here, there's a lot of settings you can just change in. This one, if you notice this layout, you might think it's a uh, grid lock, but it's actually not. Well, you can move it anywhere you want, but it's part of a tweak called Custom Grid. This allows you to have up to 12 icons one way and 12 icons the other way. So basically you can put icons almost anywhere if you have that on, but I have 5x5, five five, so. And let's see if there's anything else. And there's hide page dots and labels, which no one really cares about. Next one is password pilot. You go to settings, password pilot, and then you have to type in your iTunes password here. No, no one's gonna steal your password. And when you go to the App Store, I'll just go to top 25 free. Milk the cow. And there we go, the password's there. Don't even bother emailing there because I have like a thousand unread messages and I never go there. I use... I'm not going to tell you. Okay. Well, it's going to come up anyway, so... And then, okay. This app looks extremely dull and lame. Yeah. The thing is that your friends can actually get apps that are like six ninety nine and one thousand dollars the tweak is restore tab in safari this one uh, i think it's one word the whole thing yeah, i'm not pretty sure so when you're in safari and you yeah, have several tabs opened and then let's say you're on yahoo and then you accidentally get rid of it somehow because you're a retard all right and then what you do Use you. Okay, what you do is um, you just have to hit that box with the arrow, and then the tab back opens back up in a new tab. That makes no sense. The page opens in a new tab. Yes, the the page you were on before. No, oh, something happened. We can just load it again. And yeah, that's that, that's it. Next one is icon commands. That's all one word. It's enabled in one tap. You can choose what an icon does every tap. So the first tap is launch icon. Two taps. I'll make it app info. Three taps. Uh, it's a jiggle. Four taps. Uh, really need any of these add icon to photo to the library and that's pretty much it now I'm gonna tap it see it opens up um double tap hmm okay dismiss triple tap it jiggles quadruple tap 
Okay, now let's see it in photos. That's sweet. It's so blurry. It doesn't look blurry on the camera. Why? Well, that's it. The next one is Springboard Invaders. When you install it, it's on the last page. Here we go. You have five lives. And every time you load something up, you get points, but if you miss, you lose points. And you shoot all the icons that are on your iPod or iPhone. And the bullets that come out of it are small icons of your device. Oh, I'm getting hooked here. The video is not gonna. <laughs> and then you can just swipe away, to, and then you can resume again. Okay, the next one is Roman badge. Here, it's in Roman numerals. Okay, that's it. And the next one is uh, Ice Flight. This is inspired by the Android one. Uh, I just finished when I'm done peeing. Okay, now that I'm done. Um, I swipe. Why am I standing? This, um, you just have to swipe to letters to make a word. I'm gonna write, uh, let's see. Green. Hi. Uh, bag. Okay, that, that, that's basically it. One is the rain status bar. As you can see here, the status bar is uh, messed up. And that's because I can arrange it once I respring. That's gay. And now it has resprung. Uh, I think it broke. Oh, there we go. Bounce. Now you can see here. Arrange the status bar. Oh God. No. There you go. You can move anywhere and anything anywhere. Until it looks very gay and stupid. And that's the range status bar. And you can lock it and you can set it back to its original state. Reset status bar. And that's range status bar. Peak is called Topic, like topic, but the C is in front instead of the T. Here, I'll just go to contacts, and as you can see, the pictures are on the side. So, I can tell who is who by the picture, not the words, because I can't read. And it works for, like, apps like messages and stuff, where you can see your contacts. See, this home button is broken. It won't go. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Oh. The next one is deep persist Wi-Fi. Um, this guy told me Alejandra 14Z. So, yeah, I think that's a shout out. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, um, this tweak allows you when you um lock it, it turns off the Wi-Fi, so it doesn't uh like drain your battery. It was like that on second gen and like before, but now it's not like that, so you can turn it back like that. So it's, um, I don't know. Yeah. The next one is iRetina GUI. As you can see, um, this icon, wait. Oh, it's already on. Oh, it's already on. Um, revert to original. Um, as you can see, this Assassin's Creed icon is blurry as hell. You can't see. It's like some dying pig or something. Oh no, no one. Whoops. <laughs> uh, I written a GUI. You can just tap adapt and then it does that. Then you just have to wait like two seconds. And then, there you go. It's in like retina. You can see that there's an assassin. I'm sure you can't tell, but 
it is. It's called I uh, took the fly. You set an activation method and you have to sign in through this app. And my activation method is just swipe down. And that's my Twitter account, but you don't have to follow me because I don't tweet anything. So I'll just write hi. Uh, hi. And it gets tweeted. One is double at. When you double tap the at icon, it enters your email, which you have to put in through settings. Yeah, no more information. Next one is unfolder. This is good for when you want to get rid of all the icons in one folder. You just have to jiggle it and delete the folder. And then it all goes back. So that that's it for top 15 August. And there is one thing I want to say. What the hell is this? What the hell? It's rejected. And it's gone. It's removed. Forever. Had 4 million views. Oh, I'm sorry, I mean 40,000 views. Oh, uh, well. I'll just make this video right here like 60,000. Okay, bye.